Hi, right, so this tutorial is designed to show you how to import and optimize your data coming from pretty much any bibliography software. So in this example, we're using Zotero, but it could be EndNote, Mendeley or FWorks or other packages as well. Uh, the concept is pretty much the same for all of them. So I'm going to just bring in one folder from Zotero. Um, but I want to optimize it and make sure that it's imported correctly and everything is linked. Um, like all li like most libraries, it's not perfect. So, you know, I may have, for example, metadata missing in some of these documents. I may not have filled them all in. I could go and obviously I could enter them or I could bring them in as is. So I'm going to bring it in as is. I'm going to bring in these in vivo related articles. Um, and there's um, hundred and something of them. So I'm going to import this. Uh, so I'll click into my folder. I'll select all of the articles I want to bring in or just the ones I want or multiple folders, the whole library if I want. It's two transactions. First, I have to export the files. Um, well, actually not the files, but a map to the files. It's known as an RIS file or it could also be a text file or an XML file. And that simply maps for in vivo where the files physically are in my hard drive. So it knows where to get them and, and, and the information related to them. So that's the first step. And I have that done. I've selected them all. I do file, export. Now, this may not be ticked by default. So I'm, I'm ticking it to say include the files, not just the references. And these are all the different formats I could export them in. Um, I can work with Invivo with a text file or an XML file or an RIS file, but the RIS is the most commonly used one. So that's the one I'm going to use. So I say OK to that and it's now going to export those files. Um, and I put them out on my desktop and I save them. So that's it. It's done now. I've clicked my files and there's my RIS file. So I, I save that and that step is now done. So I can move off now from Zotero and back into Invivo. I'm ready now to import these files. So the next step is I go to the import tab, to the bibliography tab here in the import tab, and I can see all the different apps. I'm gonna bring in Zotero. So I click on Zotero and it asks me, where is this um, RAS file? So there it is, it's in my desktop. So I click on the RAS file Click open and it's now ready to import. It launches this wizard. I can import and list the articles by title or author and year. I'm going to choose title because I the author, the same author may have two articles in the same year, so I'm going to use titles. And I'm going to tell it here where I want to put them. So I don't want to go into the root directory in the files area. I want it to go to my lit folder. So I'm putting it in there and I click import. Now it's bringing in 137 files, so you know it's it's going to take a few minutes to do it. And um, what it's going to do, and more critically, is if there are references missing, or say I have a reference to a book, it's going to bring it in as an external. An external in Vivo isn't a link out to an external file. It's a different type of document. Think of it like a proxy document uh, to represent the book. So it creates the book. Now, when I import any document from in Vivo or from uh, Mendeley or RefWorks, it brings in the PDF if I have it. It links a memo to it with the abstract, the keywords and any notes I may have. And it creates a file classification with all the metadata, which contains the year, the author, the discipline, etc. So I have all that automatically linked. And it does the same thing with the external, but it just creates a blank document, if you like, that has all the metadata linked and uh, because it's obviously it's a book, I don't have um, soft copy. So I can then go on Amazon and, you know, paste in the abstract or different sections from the book, or I could write summaries of the chapter. But all the other uh, data is then correctly linked. And so I have the best of both worlds. So there's my documents. There are 121 of them where I have the physical document. I can see that down the bottom left corner. If I click on a document, I can obviously I can open the document and I can see the content and it's now searchable and codable. But I can also go into the uh, properties of the document and I can see the metadata. So I can see there's my description 
I can go to the attribute values. I can see all the metadata like the year, the author, etc. And of course, this symbol here tells me there's a memo linked. If I open the memo, so I go to memo link, open linked memo, I can see my notes, the abstract, and the keywords, depending on, assuming I have these things, but it is actually there. And of course, I can add to this as well if I want to. So I have a completely comprehensive um, library, which is now searchable. There's my um, file classifications, and I can now it's 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 known as references. I can open that up, and I can see all the metadata that I've imported from the referencing software. And I can also go to the externals, which is here, and there's the external. So if I open it up, it's going to be blank. It's a blank document, but I can see that I have the metadata linked to it. And I can see that I have the memo link to it. So all the other pieces of information are in place. So there's my external. It's got nothing in it, but I might put in the chapter summaries or whatever. Um, there's the metadata. And there's the linked memo. So I have everything in place, even if I don't have the physical document. I could always obviously go and get the document, but there you can see it. So I hope that's helpful in bringing in your um, EndNote library or Mendeley or whatever it is. Uh, this is the newest version of Envivo, but it works the same in older versions like 11 or 12. And it works the same in Mac as well as Windows. So I hope that's helpful. But if it's not, sure, ping us an email to um, support at qdatraining.com. Okay, take care.